Welcome to the channel. God bless each and every one of you. If you're new here, please consider clicking that subscribe button, hit that like button, and turn the bell icon on to get notified of every upload. Moving over here, we have the K20, K24 Turbo Manifold from Jack Spania Racing with the discount code and link in the description if you want to pick one up. Very nice quality through and through. Uh, the reason we are going to be using this titanium uh, header wrap is to cut down on some of the heat soak in the engine bay because these put out tons of heat. Um, doing this will also make a little bit more power and allow the turbo to spool up just a little bit quicker as well. There are plenty of tests to prove that turbo blankets and header wrap actually do increase turbo spool, um, but that's not the main reason I'm doing it. I'm doing it to cut down on heat soak because in this engine bay, we have a lot of plastic and rubber back there, and that's where the manifold and turbo is going to sit. So we want to make sure that's cut down temperature wise. Plus it's Texas. It gets really hot. Um, so less heat in the engine bay, the more power we make. So that's why I'm going to be doing that. I will be using just normal zip ties around here uh, until it's finished. Once it's finished, we will put on the stainless uh, cable ties right here. So I will link this in the description as well. I ordered a two pack. It came with two 50 foot rolls and two packages of 10 on the stainless cable ties. I like to have more than I need, uh, mostly because I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Same goes with having a firearm. But with that being said, I'm going to put this on a time elapse and basically just get me wrapping it all up and uh, add some music to it. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Before we get started, one other method to doing this is people will wet these, dunking them, letting them soak. That will cut down on the fiberglass. Now this will make you very itchy if you haven't ever used it before. Just be prepared for that. I'm used to it, so it's not a big deal to me, um, but it will make you very, very itchy. So. Um, if you want to soak this in water ahead of time, it will cut down on the itchiness. Obviously, you wear gloves if you want to cut down on it as well, maybe long sleeves. Uh, but I'm used to it, so I'm just going to do it and get it done. But um, just wanted to mention that real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with all of this. there it is with the titanium header wrap i think it looks really awesome now don't get me wrong i like how it looked before the titanium wrap but this again has more functionality with it being wrapped and it just looks really cool so if you can see up here i had the just normal zip ties and then went with the metal cable ties over it i basically just put a flat head in there and pulled with vice grips on the other end to get them tight and then trimmed them off with the dikes and it looks really really good so Halfway through, I did cut the roll in half because it was just too long to keep weaving back and forth through there. So uh, 25 feet did two pipes, and then the other 25-ish feet uh, ended up doing the rest. Now, there is still some left. I'm going to try to use this on the down pipe. I will probably have to tap into my other 25 or 50-foot roll, uh, but not a big deal. Got more stainless cable ties, and it's just looking awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, please do me a favor and hit that like button. And here we go.
Okay, there it is. Looks really good all the way through on the downpipe to the secondary part of the downpipe. Now, the reason I stopped over here is because this section is under the car, so it's not really important to wrap that section. Probably could have stopped it up here, but just wanted to kind of finish a little bit. And this will not heat soak anything, so it's not a big deal. Um, but everything is looking a lot better. It's going to work great. Got the Jack Spania Racing wastegate attached to the Jack Spania Racing turbo manifold. And of course, Jack Spania Racing's downpipe. If you guys are interested in any of this, check the links in the description and use the discount code Texas Honda Channel in all caps to save yourself some money when buying parts. Uh, but yeah, if you guys uh, like the video, please consider hitting the like button. If you got something out of it, please share it around. And uh, yeah, if you guys are ever curious if I've ever done something, go to the YouTube search, type Texas Honda Channel, and then type whatever it may be, whether it's the supercharged Honda Pilot or a D16 Turbo or D16 automatic turbo, whatever it may be, just type it up there and it should bring it up. I hope that little tip helps some people because I've got a lot of messages, and I mean a lot, asking if I've done this video on this or that, and it's just simple. Just go to the YouTube search, Texas Honda Channel, and type in whatever you want. If it doesn't come up with anything, I probably haven't done a video on it, but I hope that little tip helps you guys, and I hope you guys got something out of this video. I've done so many header wrap videos on the channel that, uh, if you go back and look for header wrap content, you'll probably find it. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider hitting that like button, sharing the videos around. We are definitely growing, and it's because of all of you. So huge thank you to each and every one of you, including my silent subscribers. I know that I've got quite a few silent subscribers that don't get in the comments. And just know I do appreciate you too. That is basically it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. And as I like to say, God bless. Stay safe. Stay awesome.